Jordan, your 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 first double double with uh, Maryland uh, back in your home state. What was it like just having that performance today? And and was there anyone in the crowd here to to see you from from your home state? Uh, it's always a good feeling, you know, to uh, to be able to perform uh, perform well, uh, especially at my home state. I had a lot of family in the crowd, so it was great to be able to go out there and uh, and do what I had to do and get our team a W. So it was it was good. Yeah, Julian, in the second half, obviously, you kind of took over. What kind of allowed you to do that inside, get uh, get a few of those N1s? What what plays were being drawn up that really allowed you to get that going? You know, just staying patient, um, playing a slow game. You know, as the season went on, I, I kind of learned how to, you know, score out of double teams and just, just pass out. And, and sometimes I can't force it in the double teams. It just when I pass it out, I feel like the defense just opens up and just getting those singles and eventually we can get a home run and just let me score. Uh, for either of you guys, held Rutgers to 37% shooting. What was working defensively? What were you able to do to limit them? Uh, I, can, um, I thought we did a really good job just, you know, knowing uh, our personnel who we're guarding, uh, helping our teammates out, uh, whether, you know, being in the gap or stepping up uh, on uh, drives. And I think we did a good job watch, uh, holding each other's backs. So I think that played a part in it. So. Uh, Julian Rutgers had that, I think, 8-0 run about halfway through the second half to cut the lead to 10. You guys responded by holding them scoreless for the next three minutes, went on a 7-0 run on your own. How important was that kind of stretch and what kind of led to um, being able to overcome that? Um, that? I feel like that showed a lot of about our character, um, especially being on the road. They going on a run, crowd getting loud, and I just kind of huddled the guys up, told them, hey, guys, we still up 10. We really never really had a 10-point lead on the road this year. and. And let's just stay stay calm, stay together, and just, just keep fighting through it. I think they got a tech when that happened. JY was on the free throw line, so yeah, I just I just kind of brought the guys together, being the leader that I am, and and just I was able to just talk those guys good, and, and was able to get it done. Uh, eleven. Eleven. Yeah, eleven. Yeah. Yeah, uh, cousins, siblings. Uh, just yeah, make sure them. Kevin, welcome home. Thanks, Jeff. The, uh, when we saw you in College Park, you said how Jeremiah Williams really altered Rutgers, and today it seemed like a totally different game with him. What did you do differently against him? Yeah, I mean, I just I think the good thing about it is that everyone's had seven games now with him or eight games of watching him on film. I, th I think we were the second game he played. I think they beat Michigan, and they came to us. So it, they played totally different than before he was there. Now we – you can game plan for him. Um, and I think you have to game plan for him because he's that good. So um, it was a little bit easier this time just because we kind of knew what they were going to do with him where last time, it, you know, you, you don't usually get a, tra you know, get a trade in college, but it was like they got a trade halfway through the season. So that's all I got. Coach, talk about the physical dominance for, for your team today. You guys were got almost every offensive rebound going. Talk about that. Uh, yeah, I mean, if you watch us play, I, my guys play really hard. They're really good defensively. Um, we have really struggled shooting the basketball this year. It's just been one of those years, unfortunately. Um, we've been in every game. We've we've missed some tough free throws. We've missed some open shots at the end of games. So we just kind of – we practice it, and we know that there's a – pretty good chance that we might not make that shot. So the best thing to do is just, just go get it. And so we've kind of gotten used to when we shoot it that we're going we're to go get it. It's, it. it's kind of our best offense. Kevin, good to see you. Just to start, you guys had a uh, sluggish start from three, and then that first that run at the beginning of the – at the end of the first half kind of carried you guys. What changed for you guys when, when the threes started falling? Yeah, I mean, I, I think it's we, – we were getting some really good open looks to start, and we just kept – we just kept talking on the bench that, hey, guys, the offense is really good, defense is really good. Um, the something that we've, we've really talked about as a team is just not getting down when we miss three-point shots. Uh, if you watch earlier in the year, um, we would go through some really tough stretches when we'd miss shots that would affect our defense. We're much better now when we miss shots. We're not getting down as much as we were before. I just think we've gotten used to missing shots. So I guess that's a little bit of it, too. So. Um, that's really the big thing. Kevin, 
you guys held them without a field goal for 11 and a half minutes, something like that. Uh, what was working well in that stretch, and have you ever seen anything like that, just that long of a drought without a field no, goal? I mean, we, we're the fifth-ranked defensive team in the country, so we've had some really, really good runs. Um, even even going into halftime, I thought we should have been up 18 or, or 20, just how well we played defensively, and that's kind of been our Achilles heel. We've defended everybody at a pretty high level, um, and it was good. I think, you know, again, I th this time of year, you could either pack it in a little bit and have a shitty attitude, or you can try to keep on fighting and make something happen. And these guys, have ha they had an unbelievable practice. We practiced for almost three hours yesterday. I mean, I got on them. We practiced for three hours, and they responded. So, you know, it's good to see these They've had a great attitude all year, and we've played hard all year. We've just struggled in close games. Kev, you, you know this place well, and maybe this could be said for any visiting arena, but how important is it to take that crowd out in the first few minutes of the game? Yeah, I hate this place, Jer. <laughs> I, I'm really hoping I don't have to come back next year, to be honest. This is, I think, my last year at the Hall. I, I had to come here, and it, I think we got smacked. Um, yeah, thanks. So it, this is, this is – I know it's an old building, and I know I think, they're, I think they're trying to build a new one or maybe redo this, but I, I really hope that it doesn't lose its character because the student section is great. They're right, right on top of you. The fans are great. They're right on top of you. I think this is an old-school college atmosphere that Steve has done an unbelievable job building. Um, it wasn't like this before Steve got here. So the fact that Steve's built it so well – um, and it's become a place where it's it, it's really tough to win. Kevin, welcome back. And first off, just to follow up on the struggles in close games, nine losses by five points or less, how refreshing was this one to have a relatively comfortable win today close to the end of the year? Yeah, I mean, we're, we're 20 points away from probably being like the, the 10th team in the country, as crazy as that sounds. Um, and that can get a little frustrating and that can get a little – that can make you kind of maybe go the other way. I think what's great about this is that they, these kids have stayed extremely competitive, extremely hungry to win. I think you saw a team that, that hasn't given up, which a lot of teams can this time of year. So to go out and play well and get rewarded because we've played well. Um, you know, I thought we played really well at Wisconsin. We played good against Illinois. Um, had a couple, couple of calls in both those games that changed momentum late. So to see these guys come out and play well, I think it's re very rewarding. Uh, Kevin, four guys in double digits, all, all five star starters scored on at least seven points. How gratifying is that to see a balanced scoring attack, especially on the road where a lot of the, the loads fall on Jameer's shoulders? Yeah, I mean, I, I just said this on the radio. I mean, Deshaun and Jamie are doing exactly what I, what I hoped would happen is they're no longer freshmen. They've really grown. You can see the confidence that – they both have when they're on their f on the floor. Um, you know, we're playing two freshmen a lot of minutes. You know, when, you know, in today's college basketball, it's very rare. So to see those guys kind of take a jump um, and have the confidence that they have at a, at a place like this and a defensive team, I think Rutgers is sixth or seventh in the country in defense. So to be able to do it against a really good defensive team is it feels great for those guys because they've they've gone through their lumps. And Kevin Ellis, I want to get your perspective on that second half stretch where they cut the lead to 10. You hold them scoreless for the next three minutes and get it back to 17. Just what was so crucial to kind of take Rutgers and the crowd out of that game at that point? I, I We we kind of knew they were going to make a run. I mean, it's a, again, they're, they're a good basketball team. They're a competitive basketball team. They went really small to kind of mess with us a little bit. Um, so just making a little adjustment, just try to get the bat basketball into Juju a little bit and just try to make them guard us a little bit. I think that was the big difference. All right, thanks, everybody. Jerry.